We have team coverage for you as this winter weather continues to move through our area. Yeah, let's get right to Brandon Walker in Montgomery County with what he's seeing out that way. Brandon? Yeah, good morning to you, Andy. Lisa, good morning. We're here along 45. We're on the southbound side now near Wilson Road where you can see this on-ramp here is closed. It has been closed all day because of the ice accumulation you see here along the uh, the feeder. Also, you can see uh, drivers making their way along the feeder, and you can see the freeway in this shot, too. While it is raining and has been raining on and off for the past four hours, for the most part, rain has not been freezing upon impact with area your roadways. Got some video to show you though. Still, crews are stationed at various points throughout the county and along the interstate. You're looking at TxDOT propped up on a median just off of 45, not too far from where we are. The rain at times has been heavy, making visibility an issue, but officials from the Montgomery County Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Management say they haven't seen much freezing this morning. That's good news, other than ice that already had accumulated along flyovers, bridges, and over passes. So this is just rain and it's helping the ice roll off the the roadways. Um, but we are hoping that everyone stay off the roads because tonight once it gets dark and it, our temperatures drop below freezing, we are going to have issues with freezing on the roadways again. Yeah, Megan Arthur there, and you can see a live look at the freeway. It is slick, it is wet, but right now officials say for the most part it is not freezing. That's the good news at this hour, but they do expect that to change as the temperature drops amid the progression of the day as it gets later and gets cooler out. Uh, Ms. Arthur also talks about calls to emergency crews, emergency management. She says that they've seen an uptick in fire-related calls, and so they're just reinforcing the call for folks to be uh, safe and mindful when they're working to keep their home. Uh, warm. Also a note about uh, water here. While there are several mud districts with some infrastructural issues and power outages, they are working to correct them, but those boil order, order notices are very much so apparent throughout Montgomery County. Emergency management tells us that they're working to uh, fix those power problems, but there are some infrastructure problems to some of the facilities that will take some time to be repaired. Live in Conroe, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News. Brandon, thanks so much.